I've, I've been worried about getting, getting older and everything and like where, where I'm at in life or where I should be based on age and stuff. You know, you always do those comparisons with your peers or just with people, with history, all that stuff. And, I'm, and I, think I'm, I think I'm especially freaking out because I don't know what type of old man I'm gonna be because I don't think you get to choose. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't think a lot of old men want to be the old men that they are. And it feels like there are some very specific lanes you can go down. You could be a creepy old man. You could be an angry old man. You could be a sweet old man. You could just have dementia. You know what I mean? Like they're just, it feels like there's only four ways you can go. And I'm scared I'm gonna be an angry old man. You know, that's why I try to live my life. I try to be present so that I, I won't look back and wish anything or have regrets or get bitter or anything like that. Cause I'm already starting to get angry old man tendencies. Cause I like already, I, I already hate kids, but not kids in general. I got beef with specific kids. <laughs> like an old man would. Like I got like, it's like, it's like four kids where I'm like, ooh, hoo, hoo. cause there's nothing you could do. So I just hope something bad happens. You know what I mean? Like it's like, it's just four of them. So it's not kids at large. It's just, I'll tell you about one of them. I was walking down the street, walking to the train and there was this little girl, Girl Scout, selling cookies. All right. And we got into it. Okay. No, no, you need to be on my side. Hear me out. So I, I'm walking down the street, and then this Girl Scout is like, cookies, cook it, cookie. Like, she just working her corner, I guess. And like, cookies, cookies. And then she sees me. I'm trying to avoid eye contact. I don't want to have anything to do with this right now. I'm trying to keep a good diet and everything. So I'm trying to stare straight ahead. And then she's like, would you want some cookies? And like leaned into my field of vision. <laughs> like, would you like some cookies? And I was like, oh, no, I'm okay. But thank you. Have a good day, right? I said all that. I didn't even say any of that. I could have just kept walking. I could have acted like I didn't hear her, right? But then she goes, as I'm about to pass her, she right here, right? And then as I'm past her, she goes, it's okay if you're broke. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who done, like... Who talks like that? Like, that, that that's insane. <laughs> that's so crazy. And so I, I stopped, and I should have stopped, but I stopped. I was like, what did you say? And she was like, it's okay if you're bro. She said it louder the second time. And I was like, where is the, an adult? Where, like, you just, this is crazy. But now what do you do? Cause I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm the grown man. <laughs> There's nothing that I can do, you know? I can't just be out here yelling. I can't be a grown black man out here yelling at a child holding cookies. Fox would have a fucking field day if there's a picture of me yelling and she's holding the cookies up. So I hit her with everything I could. I was like, Santa ain't real. Two fairy not real. And she just stone cold stared me in my face. It was like, and you don't have any real money. <laughs> it's like, what do you do? What, what do you do? There's nothing that you could do in this moment. So I was just, I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna pray. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and pray that you stay the same size your whole life. <laughs> That's all I can do. <laughs> there was a time in my life where um, I don't know why. Maybe it was like a keeping up with the Joneses thing or something, but I wanted, I wanted AirPods so badly. I don't even know why I wanted them. They're not better than the corded. It's all hype. But I wanted them, but I, I didn't feel like I could afford them. I felt like it'd be too much to spend on some AirPods, right? So I didn't, I just shut down those desires, I saved up my money. I was like, I'm gonna spend my money on something that's not gonna pass away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I spend my money on something that's gonna give me a lot of joy. So I spent it 
on a trip to Mexico, right? And while I was in Mexico, I saw a knockoff pair of AirPods <laughs> that were so cheap, but they, were, they weren't just cheap by like the exchange rate. They were cheap in pesos. <laughs> they were so cheap, I thought they might be toys, but I was like, let me roll the dice because <laughs> I have money to blow now, right? And I bought them, I brought them home, and these had to be the biggest AirPods I've ever seen in my entire life. They were so big, they hurt to put in my ear. They genuinely stretched my ear a little bit because they, I had to shove them in. And you know how the AirPods are supposed to come like here, just under your ear? These came down, like these, these, these were wild. And so I turned it on and the way you turned them on was each side had a button. That's how big they were that they had buttons on them, all right? You had to press each button at the same time to turn them on. And when you press the button, it didn't even make a technology noise. It wasn't like, it was just like, like just immediately in your ear. And I don't know if this is related, but as soon as I turned them on, my balls hurt so bad. <laughs> Which doesn't even make sense. I was like, how are these connected at all? What waves are being sent through my body right now? Because I, I went like, eh, and I was like, ugh, like immediately. And I had him in for a little while, and while I had him in, my mom gave me a call, and I answered, because you just had to hit the button to answer, and honestly, everyone that called me while I was wearing my, my bum AirPods, they sounded behind me. It was the most, it was, it was the most unsettling, like, I answered, I was like, hey, mom, and she's like, hey, how you doing? I was like, oh, oh. I tried, I tried for two weeks to wear them, you know, cause I was like, if I go ahead and wear them every day, they won't hurt as much anymore and everything. And then finally I gave it up. I was like, these are not worth it. I put them back in the box. I put them in the closet and I saved up my money and I just went ahead and bought some regular AirPods, right? But my ears like a little too loose now. <laughs> for the standard air, like my right got tight again, but my left, like my ear ussy is like not snapping back at all. It's like, it, and then if I even yawn, they fall out. Like it's just, it's hanging on by a thread. Oh. <laughs> uh. I got to hang out with uh, one of my older relatives. And it, it's really important to me to hang out with people that are older than me because they really do show us the way. You know what I mean? They haven't lived perfectly. Most of the things they say are gonna be imperfect, but it, you know? I feel like life is like a, it's like a dark house, right? And older people, they start walking through the house before we did. So sometimes we're trying to find our own way and we hear them calling out in front of us. Hey, watch it, there's a door right there. Hey, don't hit your shin on that, you know what I mean? But then every once in a while, they'll let you walk all the way out of a window and be like, my bad, I didn't, I didn't see that one coming. That was, that's on me, all right? Back, back in my day, we would fall out that window and we would just get back in the house. We wouldn't complain about it. But I, yeah, we were, we were talking and I realized something. Another thing that I worry about, getting to be an old man. When that day comes, I know a few things that are gonna bother me. Every time we would go somewhere, he would get so mad if I made him use his knees. <laughs> we would get somewhere and he was like, you didn't tell me they had all them steps. And I was like, what do, but what, <laughs> would you have prepared or something? He's like, yeah, I would've got my head right for all these steps. <laughs> now I just gotta do steps, unprepared. I didn't get to count them out. I didn't get to look at the image, see how many steps it would be or anything. You just want me to go up these steps raw. And I was like, what? <laughs> do you mean raw? <laughs> 
I feel like enough time has passed that we can talk about it without it being weird. So, I did a lot of protesting in 2020. There was very little else to do. <laughs> and all the protests that I happened to go to were peaceful, and there were plenty of peaceful ones. There were peaceful ones all across the state, country, world, peaceful. But enough time has passed that we can admit there were some that weren't. <laughs> there was a couple times I was watching the news, I was like, nah, Target didn't do anything. <laughs> Well, what was in there, yeah. And I was having this conversation with a friend and he told me that he also went to a protest and he admitted to me that when this protest just happened, it, it was like out of nowhere. He, at one point he was like protesting with the people and then he saw people starting to run and then everybody was running and then somebody threw something and then it just, it was a riot. It was like a riot around him. And he admitted to me that when it turned into a riot that he, he looted, right? And it's weird because you're never on the phone with a looter. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you always see them on TV. They like stock footage and stuff like that. You never like having a conversation. Because he told me, I was like, why the fuck are you telling this on my phone? What are you doing right now? What's wrong with you? And I was so torn about it, you know what I mean? Because a part of me, I, I, he, all he looted was a rabbit. <laughs> nah, I'll explain. <laughs> Basically, this shit kicked off into a riot, and then this man ran into a PetSmart, I'm pretty sure was open. <laughs> Grabbed a rabbit and ran out. <laughs> and I was so torn about it, because a part of me was like, why would you loot, what's wrong with you? That's not the point. And then another part of me was like, you couldn't grab someone with some street value or something like that, that's crazy. Because he didn't get a good rabbit. <laughs> this rabbit been sick since he got it, all right? He been in and out of the vet three years off this rabbit. This man lured himself $7,000 into rabbit medical debt. It's absolutely crazy. Look, Chicago, y'all been too good. Thank you so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you.